Um, my name is, is Hassan Mohammed Galat. I come from Somalia. I was feeling pain for my heart. So when I come here, um, I met my doctor, uh, Karanakar, and, and really gave me uh, advice. And he sent the, the test of heart problem. And also, always, when I met my doctor, Karanakar, he gave me the advice. And he gave me, say, uh, uh, you good, uh, you get help. You you get health, so no problem. Wait until I get the test of heart problem. I really I appreciate my doctor, and uh, also when he get the result of the, my heart, and he knows I blocked my heart, and he made operation. Now I'm feeling good. And absolutely, I'm, I'm get healthy and good. And I appreciate my doctor how to cure and how to encourage it and how to uh, give me the, the health and medicine. And I appreciate also, I never forget my doctor, Karanakar, and uh, Abola Hospital. When I was in back my home, uh, uh, I was remembered and if I feel in pain, I'm come also my doctor and Ebola hospital. Thank you, my doctor. Thank you. I was the UK passport. So my family say, why you go to the India? Go to the London. So I'm no. I'm go to India because the, the Somali people had the good doctor. Also, when you stay in London, the doctor is no, no care for your health. But here, thank you, my doctor. Thank you, thank my you. doctor. <laughs> Hello, uh, I am Dr. Karunakar Rapolu, consultant interventional cardiologist, Apollo Health City, Jubilee Hills. Uh, this uh, 60 years old uh, gentleman from Somalia, he uh, came here with complaints of chest pain and uh, breathlessness on walking and exertion. So initially we evaluated him with routine investigations like ECG, 2D echo, TMT treadmill test. And uh, then I advised him to undergo CT coronary angiogram uh, based on the basic investigations which we have done here. So in the CT coronary angiogram, we have identified that he has a tight blockage in one of the vessels. Then subsequently we have done the angiogram and angioplasty uh, to that vessel, uh, to that blockage and uh, uh, we stented that and uh, now he's uh, recovered well and uh, he's uh, ready to go back uh, to Somalia. Uh, so here the main thing is uh, we could identify his blockage uh, by doing the CT coronary angiogram. So in Apollo we have recently installed the most latest advanced 768 slice dual source CT angiogram which gives very good uh, clarity of the uh, blockages as well as the calcium. And with this uh, latest scan, we can reduce the radiation dose to the patient and we can acquire the scans within few seconds of breath hold. Probably less than five seconds of breath hold, we can finish the uh, scan. And also it gives uh, very good uh, fast scans so that we can go in depth of the analysis and we can create very good images. So that's the advantage. And uh, nowadays we are seeing even the asymptomatic patients whenever they go for CT coronary angiogram, surprisingly we are seeing uh, coronary lesions. So uh, if you have any uh, issues or any symptoms, probably uh, this latest technology of uh, CT coronary angiogram is helping us to understand the coronary anatomy before doing the angiograms so that we can plan the procedure well based on the whether calcium is there, whether the only it's a soft block. So based on the anatomy, we can uh, probably plan the procedure well in advance so that our uh, results will be much better and uh, we are doing this as a part of uh, some studies. So our uh, uh, latest CT scan is helping us in planning the latest procedures. Uh, thank you very much and uh, thanks. I thank uh, Mr. Uh, Galad uh, for coming to India, coming to Apollo 
and uh, giving us the opportunity to serve him. And in future also, we are ready to help the uh, Somalian people. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.